My history as a dancer is I started with five years uh, copying Michael Jackson. I even didn't know what I'm doing. And um, yeah, with eight or nine, got my first CD and put it in the record and I started to dance. With 14, I started b-boying. With 16, I adapted locking, popping, robo dance. With 19, I started to do the new style. And it went so on and I tried to discover as most dances and movement abilities to my body as possible. In the beginning, when I, when I started in Salzburg to, to take my first classes, it was really hard because there was nothing exist except there was one class of b-boying and I mean it was b-boying but actually it was my start there to, to make my first steps by, by teacher. Later on I tried to find workshops so I traveled to England, Vienna, everywhere on the planet to find great people, masters who can teach me some techniques and some philosophies behind the movements. Myself and Alex we met in Vienna in 2004 and uh, back then we were like b-boying, popping, locking all the street style the urban dances and also performing uh, on streets to make a living and uh, at some point you know we, we came up with this idea that we need to if, if we want to do what we love for a long period of time we need to open up new perspectives and the most obvious was to put the dance and the things we wanted to say as, an, as artists to put it to the next level and to go to the theater and tell the stories. So this was more or less the beginning, you know, taking it from the streets, directly the rawest form of, of the street dancing to, to the next step. As newcomers in the entertainment industry, we had to start like from the beginning and do everything ourselves. So, Inside the company, we were all dancers, we split up the responsibilities. So uh, Alex, uh, as the main, the main artistic guy, took uh, the responsibility for uh, the choreographic work, the music. And this was his department. And other guys uh, did like, uh, thought out more, for example, the costumes or, um, and I did, uh, a whole, whole lot of the management stuff, so like organizing um, all the financial stuff and keeping the whole crew together and, and make a professional um, development. Normally I write the piece from the beginning to the end, I finish the story and then I start to, to work it out. Out of the Shadow is different. Actually when I started I was studying film in Vienna and my b-boy crew, Moving Shadows, they asked me, Alex, can you come, come back for, we are in the battle of the year, we, we, need, we need a show, you know. And I said, yeah, well, I, I think I, I got, I got an idea, I got a little idea. It was not out of the shadow, it was a beginning. I had some pictures. There was one, one picture, we formed like a, a ball together. There was one picture, it was, it, it, it was like, one is making the hat spin and everybody was running around and I, in this time I was really like uh, reading about Big Bang theories and uh, the evolution from Darwin and also tried to read the uh, Quran a little bit and Bible and all that uh, Buddha stuff. Uh, so we did this first concept show, there were just some pictures in it and suddenly somebody said because we were called Moving Shadows, he said like, because we started with this ball and then running, he said like, man, it looks like you're coming out of the shadow, you know? And it was like, well, right, it looks like out of the shadow. So it was not like this fancy concept. So it really developed over years. And now everything comes together and really makes, makes even me sometimes look, look on it and say, wow, I, I learn through the piece, I learn about myself, I learn about life.